Three is here today. They come in every Wednesdays. I'm coming, Eddie. And they do soccer skills, but more importantly, they do uh, life skills. Are you guys tired? No. Not tired yet? Okay, I think we need a break. Let's grab your flower and your candle. And of course, today being February 23rd, last Wednesday of the month, it is anti bullying day, so it ties in perfect with what we're trying to do. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, let's run to wall yellow. Where's yellow? Let's go, run to yellow. If I'm bullying Daniel and I'm pushing him, I'm saying, Daniel, you're not a good person. And you're watching, what can you guys do? Be nice. Be nice. Yeah, be nice, yeah. So what are things you can say to me if I'm bullying Daniel? And if you see bullying, stop it. Help that friend. Help them get through it. Help the person that's bullying to say, hey, that's not okay. Let's do better. Be the change. I'm really impressed with the program. It's really good for the kids. Some of these kids don't get a chance to go out and play in soccer or anything. I'm really, uh, really glad they came over here. And that's, uh, the main thing is uh, that they really, uh, they really enjoy it. I'm him champion! It's the camaraderie for the kids. They get together and a lot of them uh, don't get to go out and play on the uh, outside. They don't go, they don't get the chance to play soccer like, like a lot of kids. You know. Oh, you even have a pink hair tie. That's awesome, Jordan. I noticed that they're more receptive and open to listening and learning from other adults, and I, I've noticed that shift. I love doing this so much because I get to give back to the community and just to sh spread my knowledge of when I was a kid because sports just really helped me build my career and give me my confidence that I have to this day. Are you going to shoot on me? Yeah, I think they're wonderful coaches. They're positive and encouraging and fun. My kids look forward to coming. So thank you for this program. I like it a lot, actually, working with kids. Head on down to the end of the line. Well done, Dallas. Pink shirt day is going good. We are having fun. I like the design. It's really good. I think it's awesome. And especially that kids are wearing the shirts. It, woo. I feel like it's a good way to support it, to stop the bullying. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Let's say sorry. Let's say sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Lacey. It was an accident. Hello. Put them on the camera. Are you taking a selfie? Yeah. Come put your kaboo on kids. Yeah. Where is it? Can, can I hold it, Ansel? No, because I can hold it. I got two hands for here. Me. Hello. The pitch, I've seen a lot of growth in youth, the older youth, in a good way. They can't wait to come to Hope and Health. They can't wait to play. They can't 
way to train, although they don't like skills and drills, they still do it, they still push through, and the younger kids as well. Hello! Hi! Are we going to play some soccer? Yeah! Yeah! Even after programs, like some of the teams just stay after to play by themselves. We'll give them a ball and we'll say, oh, can we stay and play? Sure, by all means, play. It's amazing because especially this time of year, for our fields, we get, they get wet. And that's been, that's been played on other than when there was snow, it's just about every night there's somebody on that pitch. And, and being able to get outside and getting physically active. And it's drawn attention, the pride, the hope and health of kids, so the, the students and the community know that this is a, a symbol of what it's all about. And it's uh, not only getting the, the students physically active, but it's also getting them, you know, they got pride. There's pride in that pitch. Each tree is really going to be the future of our kids. It's the coaches that they've been picking are, are really models in our communities. And I get along with these kids very well. <laughs> role models, which we really need to see in our role models. And it just brought that whole desire of being a good person, all four, so, spiritually, socially, mentally, physically. And it ties all that together. To teach children on and off the pitch. So being a role model on the pitch, being a good soccer player, helping your peers or in school, helping them with homework, building self-confidence. I can't do this, but you can and you will. You can't do it yet, so I can't kick the soccer ball in the net yet. But you can and you will. You practice. Practice makes perfect. That's why we're here. I can't do this math question. But you can, you just have to learn it. So I, think I really enjoy uh, the topics we have, teaching the kids to help them in sport and in their daily life. Yeah! Oh, they scores it! My happiest feeling when I'm teaching or when I'm principal is seeing that aha, that smile in the students' faces. And H3 brings that all the time. And they bring it. So that is, my heart is great. And I'm thank you for doing this. Yeah. I'm a champion. 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 Thank you guys. Bye. See you at the fish if you're there.